Hello, friends! War Thunder's birthday is coming very soon, which means it's time to meet the fourth major update of this year, Kings of Battle. Get ready for reworked mechanics, new visual effects, a unique location, new roadmap milestones, and of course, some long-awaited vehicles. Let's start unrolling this beauty. We are happy to announce that we are making night battles optional. There's now a toggle for that in the Battle Mode Selection screen. Nighttime missions will only be available in ground, realistic battles. Fighting in low-light conditions is much harder than during daytime, so we added special themed rewards for these missions. A loading screen, titles, decals, profile icons, and decorations. War Thunder also introduces a skill bonus mechanic that we promised to add in our roadmap. Players showing excellent skills will now receive extra research points based on the number of frags they score in a battle. More frags means a higher bonus percentage. We've also implemented some features for existing armor-piercing bombs. This type of ordnance is now excellent for destroying cruisers and battleships. Once an armor-piercing bomb hits a deck, it breaches it with its mass alone and explodes inside the ship, delivering maximum possible damage. Keep in mind, though, that it can also penetrate lightly armored targets and go right through, exploding outside and dealing no significant damage. Tankers are likely to note the reworked effects for discarding Sabbat shells. As soon as the Sabbat leaves the barrel, it separates and breaks free from the kinetic penetrator packed inside. By the way, Sabbat pedals have their own damage models. Each of them can harm lightly armored or open top vehicles at distances up to a couple hundred meters. Our artists have created a unique location for mixed battles, called Flanders. It features a dynamic environment that changes according to battle ratings. For instance, one of the strategic areas switches its decorations between a World War I-era blimp and a modern transport jet aircraft. This adaptation improves the immersion into the time period you're currently playing. Today's parade of new vehicles is opened by an American supersonic tactical bomber with a variable sweep wing, the General Dynamics F-111A Aardvark. It was originally developed as a fighter, but found to be a superior bomber. Its arsenal includes six barreled 20mm cannons, guided air-to-surface missiles, close-range air-to-air missiles, and a truly absurd number of conventional bombs and rockets. The next new aircraft is a legendary Black Hawk helicopter, or to be precise, its strike version, the MH-60L DAP. Unlike the transport versions, this one has a targeting complex and can carry machine guns, rockets, air-to-air, -air, and air-to-surface missiles. We have no less than six new modern self-propelled artillery vehicles. The American and British M109A1, the Italian and German M109G, the Israeli M109, and the Chinese PLZ-83 howitzer. They're armed with guns of 152 and 155 mm calibers and can fire devastating high-explosive shells. The Soviet research tree is now reinforced with one of the most unusual machines in War Thunder, the experimental missile tank called Object 775. It's armed with a 125mm rifled missile launcher, while protection is provided by composite armor. Its engine and transmission are the same as on the T-64, and its crew of only two is in the turret. This tank has a very low profile, but it also has adjustable suspension that can turn it into a real armored pancake. The German SMS Zoxen is all set to conquer the naval vastness of the game. It has four main caliber turrets armed with eight 380mm cannons, as well as 16 150mm ones. The ship's armor plates have a thickness reaching 350mm. And of course, that's far from all the new things we're adding this October. The Japanese tech tree will receive the anticipated top-tier Tansam 1C complex. A French highlight is the new AMX 10P IFV, the British forces welcome the Vickers Mark 11 wheeled tank, and the United States can now enjoy the second modification of the T-54. The list of rotary wing aircraft is also reinforced with two new top-tier strike helicopters for Italy and France. 
Each of them can carry up to eight Fire and Forget Spike ATGMs. As usual, the full changelog is available on our official website. Subscribe to our channel and share your impressions in the comments. See you soon.